is up kilo crew and welcome to another cheat day i decided to kind of start this one off with something simple uh, just a simple box of cereal because it is the second day of school so i was kind of feeling nostalgic thinking about how you know you go to school when you're a little kid and before school you always have a giant bowl of cereal i had to do it because it's deliciousness so I went ahead and I started out with a bowl of the Cold Stone Strawberry Blonde. Now, if you remember this from the Kid Cereal Challenge, I am super, super hungry for cereal. I did not quite get to this bag, but I have been eating on this like since I filmed this challenge. And let me actually show you what day it is. I just got back from my California food tour. It is 5.20 a.m. on Wednesday, the 28th. Yeah, I just got back from my California road trip. First day of school was yesterday, second day of school today. So I'm gonna dig in to some kid cereal and then follow it up with another bowl of pops and then go get some real breakfast, like a real adult breakfast because this is kid mode. <laughs> but I had to get started with this because cereal, first day of school, deliciousness. I have my hippy dippy almond milk here. Boom. Ah, now I can get that milk pour ratio just right. It's so good. Let's do it. It's good every time. So basically what it is, is golden grams, marshmallows and strawberry cereal. It's an awesome balance. And <laughs> eating cereal does just remind me of being a little kid. Definitely don't sleep on this one, guys, just because it comes in a bag. Malto meal produces it, but it's Cold Stone cereal. Our strawberry blonde. Don't sleep on it just because it comes in a bag. It's amazing. So sad when it runs out. Okay, so that was delicious, but I wanna move on to these pops. Cause I gotta have my pops. It smells good. These were one of my favorites as a kid. They're so simple. This and like kicks for the simple ones, except when I did kicks, I would put like heaps of table sugar <laughs> like on top of it. So it was like no longer simple and healthy. Kid mode. I would watch like, I think Digimon was on in the morning and like recess back then. What did you guys watch before school? One was definitely Digimon and Recess <laughs> when I was like an older kid and Doug. Those crispy golden corn nuggets. I love the texture of this cereal so much. And the last bite. Mm. Now this milk is gonna be perfect because it's gonna be strawberry Eve and corn poppy and delicious. Best milk ever. So, I didn't go super hard on this like morning cereal <laughs> episode because like I said, I am about to go get a real breakfast and I will show you when I get there obviously what I decided to get. I think you'll like it. I will add the calories for these few servings of cereal to the real breakfast, what I'm about to have, and I will see you at the breakfast stop. Boom. 
and here we are kilo crew in my vehicle as always one of my rando favorite spots to be i think i guess i don't know so i decided to go through the jack-in-the-box drive through because i love their breakfast it is amazing and it's sorry i did change my clothes it's really cold um anyway yeah i went through the jack-in-the-box drive through because it's amazing and i got me a ton of treats and then let me show you the time so it is 6 10 still wednesday the 28th i have some time to kill before class starts so i figured why not go for a big breakfast because i will be kind of busy after class until kind of later so my next meal will probably be way later because i have class and then i'm gonna go get my hair did that'll be exciting <sighs> step one of breakfast today is the jumbo breakfast platter from jack in the box so that comes with scrambled eggs bacon pancakes and a hash brown i'm really excited for this one it's gonna be delicious let's start by pancakerizing the pancakes with some syrup Ooh, that looks like it's gonna be delicious why not just do the whole thing right get a little syrup on the bacon it's gonna be so good. Gotta start with the sweets, right? Pancake! Mmm. That's actually not a bad pancake. For being fast food, that's really good. I've never gotten the jumbo platter at Jack in the Box before. I used to get the hearty bowl a lot, which is like their scrambled eggs, gravy, sausage bowl thing, but never did this one. Mm, yeah, that's yummy. Then y'all know, I have to do ketchup on my eggs and my bacon. Well, not on my bacon. I don't know why I said that. On my eggs and my hash brown. Oh yeah. Boom, let's dig into this. Scrambled eggs are nice and fluffy. Good stuff. Let's get some hash brown in there. Okay, I'm happy with this fast food decision. Yeah, that's really good. I ended up ordering so much food. <laughs> Y'all will see. Last couple of pancakes. These two are stuck together, so I'm just gonna do it in one foul swoop. Yummy. So yeah, I want to do a Q&A with y'all, like a Q&A like special, especially since I'm getting closer to 10,000 subscribers. But I want to run it through my Instagram by doing like one of those question poll things, like the ask me a question thing for my story. That way I can screenshot them and make it a little more like official. Because a lot of times I kind of like wing it in my head questions I remember and I want to make it like a better Q&A. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, that way you can ask me questions if you want them answered. They give you a lot of bacon. This is good. So yeah, I want to answer some questions. Let me get some syrup on here. Mm. So I want to answer y'all's questions about, like, my food challenge tour, stuff like that. Like, q and A, like, about competitive eating. How do I do it? How do I recover? That sort of stuff. I would love to answer those types of questions, but more specific to what you guys really want to know. So, yeah, definitely follow me on Instagram. I will put up some of those question things over time. So make sure that when I do post them, you respond and engage. And again, I'm ap apologizing for, I look like a bit of a mess right now, but I guess I'm getting my hair done, so I didn't really care to do my hair very well. So is what it is though. I got it's like freezing out this morning. I was supposed to get up to 90 degrees today, but it's like 50 degrees right now. Not freezing, but 50 degrees. It's a lot of bacon. I've been eating bacon for like a long time. <laughs> it goes really well with the syrup though. And yes, bacon is an appropriate finger food. It's so hard to eat with a fork. It just can't be done. I did order an iced coffee as well, which is actually really good. I normally don't get like iced coffees, but it was free because I used the app to order this. So I figured why not more ketchup. I'm actually surprised at how good the eggs are. 
actually how good this whole thing is. The hash brown is nice and crispy. I'm not disappointed in this. I can't wait to dig into the rest. Hopefully it's all just as good too. I really don't know how they made this so yummy for fast food. Obviously it's not like some divine breakfast, but for being fast food, and wait till I tell you the price, it will be revealed at the end of the meal. Okay, last bite of the platter. That's that, some coffee. So Jack in the Box, one of my guilty pleasures is their tacos. So I picked up a couple. These are delicious. I actually, as with all things, I like to do them with ketchup on them, but let me show you in its raw, boom, state. I just like that they're kind of crispy, but also kind of soft. Here we go. Here we go. Those are good. That is Terster. That was a big, messy, awkward bite. Here goes the last piece of this taco. Mm -hmm. As always, the tacos come in twos at Jack in the Box. So taco number two, a little ketchup. Yummo. I wish Heinz would sponsor me. That'd be cool. They just have a good amount of like cheese and stuff in the tacos. And then they're like crunchy and soft. I don't know. I just, I love them here. Last couple bites. They do such a good job. I don't know. It's fast food, but I'm happy right now. Okay, so now one of the new items at Jack in the Box are actually, they have donut holes now. So I wanted to try them out. I did just have like the cinnamon donuts during the Taco Bell mukbang. And these are cinnamon donut holes here at Jack in the Box. So I wanted to compare them. I doubt they'll compare to the Taco Bell ones because those are filled with cream, but let's take a look. Okay, they're nice and light. As you can see, they have a nice, generous coating of the cinnamon sugar. So let's give it a try. Mmm. They are really light and fluffy. But they almost kind of have that fryer taste. You know, where you can kind of taste the grease they're cooked in. But for a fast food donut hole, it's not bad. And you get four for a dollar, which the price point on that is actually better than Taco Bell because Taco Bells are $1.99 for the four of the cinnamon ones, but I would rather pay that. Yeah, this one's kind of sadly dusted. It's not dusted as well as the first donut hole, but they are light and airy, more like a cream puff. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, I had some taco go down my shirt. That's not fun. I was saving it for later, I guess. Ew. But yeah, these are one biteable. Now this one's like super sugared. So they're not very consistently sugared and they're only sugared on like one half. So you can tell like an employee, like literally just, I don't know, salt bathed this thing. Not bad though. Coffee's good too. Hmm. Good donuts. Okay, I'm gonna finish up this coffee real quick. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Last up from Jack in the Box. I went with the basic breakfast Jack. Now I'm not sure if I've had this or not. I have no idea actually, but let's have a try. It was really cheap and a sandwich sounded good. Not bad. It's got ham, cheese, egg, and bacon, and the bun's pretty soft. It's a basic breakfast sandwich. I'd give it like a seven out of 10 because it's basic, cheap, and good. And for once, this actually doesn't need ketchup. It tastes good on its own. Last bite. Okay, so now is where I reveal the price of that. And that was with tax, $7.79. So for all that food that I just had, seven bucks, 79 cents with tax. So not a bad deal at all. I do have some more treats, but I'm going to move where I'm parked just a little bit because this lighting is like hurting my eyeballs. So. 
I will see you in a few seconds. Ah, that is so much better. Okay, so the next thing that I got was actually from a Walmart bakery and I wanted this because it was like a sweet treat and it is their white chocolate pumpkin cookies. And so back to school, fall, it's basic season. So I wanted to try these. I've never had their pumpkin cookies before. So here we go. Let's take a look. They're a good size. Big white chocolate chunks. I'm into it. Good texture. Mm, that is really good. Strong nutmeg flavor. Really generous bites of white chocolate. Yeah, definitely buy these because you get three of them for 98 cents. Walmart Bakery just always comes through. Their cookies are next level for the price. It's amazing. They're kind of misshapen, but that's okay. They're still good. Mm. So I did go kind of big for this breakfast. You know, normally my cheap meals that are like normal unless I'm doing a calorie challenge are a little bit smaller than this, but like I said, it's going to be a long time till I get to eat next. Still really early. I think it's like 6.30 right now. But like I said, I have a lot of stuff to do. I have classes, getting my hair done, going to meet my grandparents for a little bit. So it could be like 3, 4 o'clock before I have time to eat again. So I want it to be really full, especially because I do have to train still. Today's leg day. Okay, and last cookie. Have to do the break. Boom. These really are good. I love the white chocolate pieces. Okay, last little bite of this delectable breakfast. Cheers to y'all. Hmm. That was really good. Like I said, I will see you guys probably much later in the day. Got to train, go to class, get my hair did, visit the grandparents. Anyways, I will go ahead and put up the calories for this right now. And I will catch you guys at the next stop. Okay, Kilo crew, so I have got done running all of my little errands for the day. It is currently 3 p.m., same day, Wednesday. I am really, really warm right now, so before I go out for like dinner, because it's like an awkward hour, I haven't really had lunch, I want to cool off. So I'm actually going to bust in to this pint of Ben & Jerry's. Now, I've already opened this pint. It's not a fresh pint. Just disclaimer, I love this flavor. I've been working on it for a while, but I don't want a ton right now anyway, so. I'd say a half a pint ought to be plenty. So I'm going to dig into that. What I went with is vanilla toffee bar crunch and I've been loving this flavor. There are giant pieces of toffee in it. Boom. It's so good though. Mm. Well, look at how chunky it is. This is so good. This is really refreshing for now. It is like 90 degrees out today, so completely opposite of this morning. It was really cold, now it's really hot. Look at that chunk. <laughs> it's like an entire candy bar. <laughs> so yummy. Yeah, I was legitimately getting like really hungry. I trained legs so hard earlier today, like before class started. I just had so much energy from breakfast, so I trained really hard and now I'm like shattered. <laughs> I ran out of ice cream so fast. <laughs> Only a couple bites left. Last bite. Oh well. <laughs> so one of those stops that I made after class was to visit my grandma and she actually sent me home with some raspberry jam and also some peach jam and I haven't had her peach jam in forever. I think I had a raspberry jam in a past cheat day video and I've also had her strawberry. So I'm gonna start with the peach. She makes the best jam, but I mean, all grandmas do. Look at that. 
I was going to do it close to the camera, but I don't want to make a sticky mess, so I'm just gonna do it back here. <laughs> oh yeah. I'll do peach on this first half. This is uh, Italian bread from the Walmart bakery, by the way. Unsliced, I slice it myself. Got a good amount of peach jam. Oh, I've dripped it anyway. Okay, here we go, first bite. That is so bright and fresh, like perfect for summer. Mm. That'll cool you up right now. Yum. That peach is pretty good. That raspberry gonna have to do some sort of fancy trick to beat that. I'm actually gonna do a little bit more peach. Mm. You go, Grandma. <laughs> that is so good. And I love it because I have my own place, so I have both of these jars all to myself. <laughs> and with you guys. Okay, let's go for some raspberry. I know her raspberry is very good, but different batch. We'll see. She does so good making it fresh, very sweet and sugary. I think she said she made like 72 pints <laughs> of the peach. So yeah, she likes to make jam. Okay, here we go. That's just as good. They're both so unique in their own way. That is comforting. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> That's quite the treat. I'm gonna change up the flavor a little bit. So I could like spoon out those jars all day long. I got like this massive jar of Nutella at Walmart. I'm a bought Nutella. Well, I don't think I've bought Nutella ever, to be honest with you. I've had it, but I don't think I've ever bought it. And after doing the <laughs> turn dough thing with Raina and them having so much Nutella, I'm rehooked to it. So I wanted to do a slice with some Nutella. And I might only do half. Look. Oh, the Nutella. Boom. Oh, that's gonna be decadent. Oh yeah, that's good. It makes the bread taste like a candy bar. So good. Oh man, that's yummy. Okay, I'm gonna do the whole, the whole slice in Nutella. Can't deny the deliciousness. How is this possible? <laughs> I've conveniently left a little corner. I'll do a little more peach jam, just because I want to end on a fresh, bright, fruity, summery note before I'm back out into the heat looking for more food. <laughs> I still really don't know what I want. Let's have this peach bite. Delightful. Okay. That was a delicious little snack that will hold me over until dinner. I will go ahead and add these calories up for you and I will put them up right now. And I will see you at the next stop. Kilo crew. So for the final meal of the day, I decided to stop and just get something quick at Panda Express. I was craving noodles. So I ended up getting orange chicken, teriyaki chicken, and the lo mein. Or they call it chow mein there, but really it's lo mein. So I am super excited to dig into this. And then for dessert, I have a little special treat from somewhere else. <laughs> so it is 514, ready to dig in. Pretty hungry. Yeah, I, did, I ended up just going for like a regular little walk to kill some time. And I also did a lot of homework because I had quite a bit already. But anyway, to the food. The lo mein. Mm. 
always delightful. I need soy sauce though. Luckily they give you some. Bring on the sodium. Yeah, I got really lucky. It was like pre-dinner rush. So I didn't even like wait very long for my food. It was very quick. Let's try some of this orange chicken. For Panda Express. They do it okay. I normally like to on cheat days at least take you to somewhere unique to town. And I know I didn't do that today, but hopefully you guys enjoy this anyway, because I know I am. Good, simple eating. Try some grilled chicken. Grilled teriyaki. That's really good. I just need you to take a moment to appreciate the beautiful, glistening appearance of this orange chicken. <laughs> so much sauce. And then I like to take, because it's always kind of soupy at the bottom, take the teriyaki chicken, dip it in the sauce from the orange chicken, and you've got like hybrid chicken. Slurping noodles means you like it, right? <laughs> I'm just chowing down on this, it's so good. I was just craving noodles. I almost got like Italian, but this sounded better. I'm trying to make some of that sauce fall into the lo mein, make it so you can see it. Scoop the sauce. <laughs> you guys know me, I'm all about the sauce. It makes it so much better. So yeah, this is just the Panda Express large plate meal. Which I could have gotten the one with three entrees, but I don't need to be super crazy today. Like I said earlier, I did just get back from doing all those challenges in California, so I can use to take it a little easy. Relax a little bit here in the corner. Mm, nice and saucy. That was excellent. <laughs> Let's see what my fortune is. Boom. It's like magic. The excitement of new romance will lift your spirits. Well, that's good news for me. I can use that. A new romance. So apparently there's some guy out there waiting for me and I didn't even know it. That's a good thing. Forever alone. <laughs> As I eat my cookie. A little more water. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go refill this. I will be back in like five seconds because I have more treats. <laughs> Okay, so water is full, so I am ready to take on these beautiful things, which my mom was sweet enough to get for me. They are from World Market. They are milk chocolate macadamia Lacey's cookies. Delightfully crisp, chewy, drenched with luscious milk chocolate. And I have yet to try these, so thank you, mom, because she watches this. And also, my niece was super cute. I don't think you'll be able to see it. But my niece was super cute and wrote me a little <laughs> note that says, you and me, and there's hearts on it. <laughs> and it says, from Brooke, I thought you could use these for your cheat day from mom. So that was really sweet of them. So thank you to Brooke and mom. <laughs> okay, let's give these a shot for the first time. Ooh, they smell amazing. Right when you open the lid, it's like a blast of delicious. Ooh. So they're like light and thin. They're like crispy. Let's give this a shot. These are awesome. It's like peanut brittle meets chocolate. I don't know how to describe it. 
These are amazing. Good choice, mom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> These are so good. My guess is that they made peanut brittle out of macadamia because there's little pieces of macadamia in there. Wow. Now I know why. So if you look at the back, each cookie is 150 calories. That's the equivalent of two Oreos to put that in perspective. <laughs> These are great and worth it. This one you can really see it um, because it's all like shattered and peanut brittle's all like broken off. And you can see the rich chocolate. Mm. That is spectacular. <laughs> These would go great if they were made into like an ice cream bowl, fill it with like vanilla ice cream. That would be great. I don't have any plain vanilla ice cream or I'd probably be dipping this in vanilla ice cream. Or like a vanilla frosty from Wendy's. <laughs> I think I'm enjoying these way too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish up this cookie because this is amazing and I would actually like to save these to have to snack on throughout the week because that's good. I wanna savor these. And three is pretty good, pretty darn rich. Like I said, it's pretty much peanut brittle. <laughs> okay, y'all, the last bite. Cheers to you guys. Well, as always, this was a very fun cheat day. I'm very satisfied. I am looking forward to the excitement of a new romance to apparently lift my spirits this school year. I just thought it would be kind of fun. First day, well, second day of classes, fall schedule, to say hi, take you guys on a journey with me. It's been fun. The treats were delicious, even though they were simple. They were all very enjoyable. Particularly what's sticking out in my mind is some of grandma's uh, <laughs> delicious peach jam. That was really good. These cookies were great. I feel like things that are gifted sometimes, well, almost all the time, seem to taste better, especially when it comes from family. So that was really nice and enjoyable and down to earth. <laughs> so that is it for this cheat day. I will, of course, total everything up for the day for you guys. This was not, again, a huge cheat day at all, but you know, I had a good time. <laughs> so this will be it until I think of something special until 10K. Uh, I have something in mind, but you know, you know, I want to make sure it's good. It looks good for you guys because 10k is a big, big moment for me. I want to thank you all for subscribing, taking the time to do that. I'm blown away that that many people want to watch some girl eat food. That's awesome. So thank you guys so much. Until next time, this has been a fun cheat day. Bye guys.